of the other battleground states is Nevada. The Senate race there just got a major shakeup thanks to a former Trump official now throwing his hat into the GOP primary and trying to sell voters on his record. I was honored and humbled to serve as President Trump's ambassador to Iceland, where I fought the deep state, I fought China, and I fought Russia's influence in the Arctic in the Great High North. Dr. Jeff Gunter is running for U.S. Senate in Nevada after serving as ambassador to Iceland. He joins me now, also a dermatologist. So why are you getting in this race? Pretty interesting background. We got Iceland, we got dermatology. Why senator? Uh, the reality is, if not now, when, Todd, the whole situation here in America is absolutely falling apart. We see inflation out of control. We see an invasion at our border. We see crime in our streets. And given my background of having taken care of skin cancer patients for 28 years, having been a diplomat with extensive experience in foreign policy, and most importantly, I'm 110% pro-Donald Trump, 110% interested in putting America first. And that's why right now we have 110% of the momentum going on in this primary election in the great silver state of Nevada. Let's talk about Trump for a moment. In 2018, Nevada Senator Jackie Rosen, the incumbent, defeated then incumbent Dean Heller by five points. That's a pretty, pretty wide margin there. But that was a midterm election year. How important will Donald Trump on the ballot be for Republicans like you trying to flip seats? In the words of Donald Trump, absolutely huge. It will be huge. Donald Trump has so much momentum right now in Nevada. It's absolutely breathtaking. I saw the poll that you showed from the Wall Street Journal. It shows him up by 4%. I would say it's almost 8 or 10%. Everywhere you go, everyone longs for the days of Donald Trump and equally important America first policies. 1% inflation, 3.5% unemployment, a border that was really the strongest border that we've had ever, ever in crime at an absolute minimum and fentanyl not killing our kids. And he, remember, he instituted the largest tax cut in American history. Those were the good old days, and those are the days that we're going to see not only when Donald Trump becomes the 47th president of the United States, but when I take down Jackie Rosen and replace her in the U.S. Senate. And remember, some things that happen in Nevada and Las Vegas don't only stay sure. there, and this big red wave is going to come across the country. Before we get to the general, you do have a primary. I asked you my first question, why? Now I'm going to ask you why now, because I'm not saying it's late, but it is later than other primary opponents, including U.S. Army Officer Sam Brown. He has already been backed by many national Republicans, including the Republican Senatorial Committee. So why now, doctor? Absolutely, because I'm 110 percent America first, 110 percent pro-Donald Trump. And let's face it, sometimes to take down the deep state, you have to be blessed with deep pockets. And that's why we had such resonance. And that's why things became so interesting. In fact, remember, Nevada was lean Democrat. And when we announced and we showed my commitment to America First policies, it is now even in Nevada. Right now, it's a toss up. And I, can, I can't predict by the time our June 11th primary, it will be lean Republican. Why? because people are looking at our uh, campaign right now and they're seeing what they like. They like the fact that we're America first and putting Nevada first. And uh, my competitor, he, uh, he's a Mitch McConnell guy. He's a Nikki Haley guy. He, his money basically is, we like to call it Mitchy money. Understood. His money comes from uh, Mitch McConnell. And uh, we have donors across the country. Myself, I'm putting my, where my, putting my mouth, uh, putting my money where my mouth is. And uh, that's what we're doing. We're walking the walk, and we're, uh, we have great momentum here. Uh, we will be watching the primary, and we will see who the candidate is going into the general. One other final note. used to be a Democrat. You switched to Republican. I'm sure that's going to be a huge talking point for you on the trail, how the Democrat Party left you. Dr. Jeff Gunter, thanks for your time. Keep us posted. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.